When we sleep in the field, there is always the chance that we will be beset by the force, yes? I cannot help but be reminded of my father at these times. How so? You have met my father, Frederick Lionheart. Surely you have some inkling from his manner alone, if nothing else. Suffice it to say, he is a cruel and overbearing man. He is also a heavy drinker, and as a child I'd lie awake listening to him destroy his chambers in a drunken rage. Loud noises at night have a startling effect on me to this day. Perhaps this is a good thing, seeing as no creature can sneak up on a light sleeper. Someone snuck up on us before! Oh wait, you weren't with us. So it, so it tracks. But it matters not. I am no longer under his thumb. I have no reason to return to my father's house. Let us get back to sleep. There you are! I, I missed you while I was gone. I, I mean, well... I am glad to see you. I must tell you, however, that we must go to the Harper Hold in Athkatla. I have been asked to bring you, and we must go soon. They will allow us to pass the wards of the door, but I must be with you, and I must be conscious. Hmm. What is it they wish from us? They have been nothing but cold to me in the past. Can you tell me anything? I cannot say. Please, rejoin with me and go there. It is very important. Very well, join with me. Thank you. I am glad to be back in your company. I only wish it were not under such circumstances. Come, we must go. I will explain more when it is time. All right, fine. Anamen, you're going away. That was not we something that had to be We must continue our travels. Split up for now, meet you back at the Copper Coronet. Ay. It's like, oh, hey, let's do a thing. Nope. Nope, she's, she's gone. Okay, hello everyone! I am Jessic44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Amon. Oh, it's been an attempt yes. just to get everything ended. Last episode, we finished looking through trade meat and made our way over to uh, this area where there's a druid's grove. Why are only. Oh, Our god damn it! Yes, done. We cleared out a bunch of, uh, we made our way through here, cleared out a bunch of trolls, and found out exactly what's happening with the druids here. Turns out they have a new leader, a shadow druid, who seems to be doing some pretty bad things. She's kind of immortal in her grove until she's challenged in the proper druid methods, so it's a good thing we have Cerned with us. Hopefully he'd be able to deal with her. Uh, I still haven't been able to save after the last episode, so I'm going to have to do that as soon as I step over to you. It's been a long attempt trying to just end the episode. Anyway. Okay, now I can actually continue with the with the episode. Hello, troll. Okay, troll dealt with. Let's continue onwards. It's interesting that we have a very linear path and trade meet here. Oh, there's another troll. Come on, finish him off. There we go. Okay, that leads to a dead end. This area seems very large. Ah! Fighters and druids dealing with trolls. And a mage. Alright, we can help out. We must be near the grove. Are none of you actually holding on to any flame abilities? Because it doesn't look like you're, you have any flame abilities. So how are you intending to kill these trolls without us being here? Jehera! What the... Wait, why? We didn't do anything! There's no reason for them to be attacking us. Was there an accidental casting? Hold on. I gotta reload here. Something ain't right. 
helping. Something ain't right there. I think one of us cast a spell that we shouldn't have, which resulted in everything going wrong. Come on, let's deal with these trolls again. Nature, take the life she gave! I think one of them managed to confuse us, which shouldn't have happened, and then when we casted the spell magic, the end result was that we, uh, basically tried to dispel their spells, which caused them to turn hostile to us. So the end result is that the druids and fighters, who we are trying to ca to have a simple ending to, instead went hostile to us. So just kill these trolls, and don't deal with causing problems for us, freaking mage. Damn it, Frederick! No, no, they are still hostile to us. For the grove, all the intruders shall die. Okay, fine, I was wrong. So, the druids are still hostile to us. Fine. I was just wrong. out in the night, but, oh, you must think me foolish. Okay, so I was wrong with all that. Let's get these things identified, please, if you don't mind. Arrow plus one, arrows of fire, both very useful to you, and a plus one leather armor. That, that can be sold. All right. Oh, you ran out of, you ran out of fire arrows. That ain't good. Okay, well. Let's dealt with there. Consider it done. Doesn't appear to be anything I hear here, so let's continue onwards. Great! So now we just killed a bunch of the druids who we're trying to make a peaceful relations with. Okay, that's a shadow druid, so that one's almost certainly going to be hostile. That's an Ettercap! Great, so are we dealing with spiders now? That's dealt with. It would be good for you to watch your, your careless meanderings group. across the great Mother Earth will not go unpunished. I'll hurt you if I have to. Yep, now we have shadow troops to deal with. Do what killings can. Oh god, this is going to be making all that annoying noise, isn't it? Thank you. Everyone get out of there. Okay, I'm going to just stay zoomed out until that spell wears off, because that is incredibly loud and annoying. Also, I keep taking damage. Because bees. Or insect plague, or whatever it is. Okay, that's worn off. When is the area spell here going to wear off? I, I'm just staying zoomed out because I don't want to deal with all that freaking noise. Okay, it's done. Good. Oh, that was so not worth it. Okay. Well, we found a bridge. We're approaching something. 
I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would be doing such More great trolls, things. get Go killing. Go for the eyes! Nature strikes! Dangerous mistake. There goes one troll. Two trolls. Three trolls. One more. Oh, what's this? Entrance to Ogre's Tower. That's definitely new. You know what, sure, I'm, I bet we can take care of an ogre's tower. Let's save before we go in. Alright, and in we go. I will do my best. There's nothing in here. Oh, there's a chest, but... A chest with a scimitar. I think that's a scimitar. It is a scimitar. Belm plus two. This enchanted scimitar bears the mark of Taka Kobe, an honored swordsman of Karator, though how it came to be here is unknown. Perfectly balanced, it affords quick recovery in combat and even allows the wielder time for an additional attack. Ooh. Considering currently you're just using a regular plus one scimitar, that is actually much better. Go ahead, Jehera. I think you'll like that. It may be an intelligent sword, but I've had no formal education. Yeah, I don't care. So, there wasn't actually anything in this, uh, troll- yes. in this ogre tower. Curious. Let's move on. Oh. Entrance to Adrathus Cottage. Ah! So this, this right here is where we may find the Rakshasa. Just looking around her cottage first. Interesting place here. Okay, that's just a way around. Fine, then. Let us investigate. Very well. Why, you're all such big men. You! You have the stench of those filthy jinn about you! I know what you have come for! You are fools! We will devour you! Well, she's dead. For the greater balance. Well, there goes Itafir. There goes Jahal. And now for Sahat. And there we go. It honestly wasn't that bad. Can you identify these? Unidentified quarterstaff. Periapt of proof against poison. This periapt is a large gemstone hanging on a thick golden chain. Eunuchs from Karator would wear this particular periapt when sampling the Emperor's food. Cure poison once a day. Yeah, I'll give this to you. I don't know about this, but... We'll get it identified soon enough. You hold on to the head. So, yeah. That went well. Shockingly easy, too. Arrows! And some bolts and a scroll. Okay, the scroll can go in. You need to identify these. You need the arrows. So once again, you're out of fire arrows. And the bolts we're going to sell. Bolts of lightning, bolts of biting. Actually, you hold on to that as well until we can sell it. And that. I mean, you can you can care you can base mince. You're basically becoming your pack mule in a way. Crude, maybe, but hey, it works. That was actually surprisingly e easy to deal with. I kind of expected more. But uh, there wasn't more. 
Okay. We must be getting close. That druid grove has to be... Spore colonies! There's one. That one managed to get the spell off. And we've got a couple of my conids. Alright, everyone get out. Everyone get out. Come on, Jahira. Okay, just gotta wait for Jahira to actually get out of there. I think she's confused. So we gotta wait for it to wear off. will be a minute. There you go. Now get out of there. Good. Just as it wears off. Alright. We must be close. It has to be just through here. Let's save before we go in. Alright. Into the grove we go. At least I'm sure this is into the grove. It would be good for you to watch your Death to the enemies of nature. In Faldorn's name, we cleanse the earth of you. All will fear where shadow druids tread. Yep, more druids. A solid. Okay, I don't think there's going to be any uh, healers here, so you switch to that. Now for this shadow druid. It's a club. Fancy club would be nice. You got a lot of scrolls. Go ahead. Uh, use use some of them. What is this club? Nasher plus two. McCall of the Pine, a devious druid, carved this club and bonded it with the spirit of his wolverine companion. Like that tenacious creature, Nasher is a dangerous weapon in the hands of a skilled user. When the club strikes, sharp splinters dig into the victim's flesh, causing extreme pain and even extra damage that continues for some time after the blow. McCall used the club successfully on several occasions, earning the anger of orc loggers threatening his forests. <laughs> Slivers add two points of piercing damage. Okay. And as for the quarterstaff... Cleric's Staff plus three. This simple staff radiates a powerful enchantment, though its plain design suggests a simple origin. It reflects the quiet strength of faith that faith brings, and was likely the modest weapon of a priest or cleric. Pretty good quarter staff, truth be told. Uh, let me see here. You are good with a club, and the scimitar. You also scimitar quarter staff. Because these are good items. Actually, you should probably wield this quarterstaff. I mean, Staff of the High Forest is good, but that's plus three. As for the club, give it to you. Currently, you've got the extra attack around, which is actually probably better than Nasher plus two, but you'll hold on to Nasher. Okay. Ow! What even hurt Jahera there? Okay, we found the entrance to the Druid Grove. I await your need. And they're just casting the healing spells. I was going to cast it. What is my All of my hate. Okay. Once again, let's save before we go in. Alright, let's go into the Druid Grove. I think we might have enough time. Mm. Okay, there's a room up here. With nothing in it.
adherence. Okay, there's a pool there for the grove. You know what? Long time ago? <laughs> well, what have we here? Some fool come to stop the righteous force of nature? Laughable. Say what you must, and then we shall purge the earth of your filth. Why are druids attacking all who enter the wood? This is not the role of the druid. Who are you to say? Only another druid should have business here. You can do nothing. In the past I might have feared such as you, but no longer. I am stronger than ever with the aid of this grove. No harm can come to me here. Such bonding rituals are frowned upon as they draw energy from the earth itself. But the mother feeds me that I might fight for her. The rich will still govern this place. As a druid, it is Jehera's right to challenge you. You will accept this challenge, and we will proceed. I will not have this place remain in your care. By the Great Mother, you will not leave the duel alive. You are mistaken, of course. I revel in the combat of the rituals, and I welcome the chance to end your miserable existence. Come to your death. Okay, then. Jehera seemed the right choice. Yes. Well, let's see what you can do. You're still kind of wounded, which is not good. Wait, where are your weapons? Why are you not wielding your weapons? Hold on, I gotta reload here. Something ain't right. I guess cast a few spells to try and prep up because we have things about to happen. Yes. Let's try this again and see what happens. I will do my best. <laughs> well, what have we here? Some fool come to stop. By the way, the CERN would know what has changed nature. here and why you rule as you do. Ah, Sand, come to investigate for the great druid, have you? You may tell him that his way is dead. We are the druids of shadow, and he can do nothing. We shall see, Faldorn. You are not invulnerable just yet, though I sense the filthy ritual you have performed. You drain from the land like some vile parasite. I am stronger than ever with the aid of this grove. Let's try Jehera's no harm thing. can come to me here. You are mistaken, of course. I revel in the combat of the rituals, and I welcome the chance to end your miserable... All right, Jehera. To your you are... without your items. And according to someone I just spoke with, the reason is because no weapons are allowed in the combat. Well, you can cast spells, at least. Spell failed indoors. Oh, right. So it's basically just beating each other. Oh, wait, you can use a quarterstaff. And it's basically that. Hmm. Maybe CERN would be better because of his werewolf shifting ability. You know what? Yeah, give me a moment. Yeah, CERN would probably be better because he can shapeshift into a werewolf. And cast spells and the like. So we'll try that. First, though, just to be safe. And also we'll get a bark skin on you to help out. Yes? <laughs> well, what have we here? Some All fool right. come to I am stronger than ever with the aid of this grove. No harm can come Cerned to me will here. challenge you for leadership. Bonding rituals are frowned I will speak for myself. From the earth itself. Faldorn, you perpetuate gross crimes here. You are unfit. I challenge you, and by the rights laid down ages ago, you cannot refuse. 
What makes you think I would wish to refuse? I took this grove by force, and I shall keep it in the same manner. Did you think I would retreat? Oh no, sir, and this is your end. Prepare. What is it that you ask? Okay, fine. You can wield that for a moment. In Resist cold, resist fire, and regenerating. That's what you have, is it? Call woodland beings. You know, it seems like a good idea. Iron skins. Hey, you have a nymph. Probably should have gotten a miscast magic on there. Okay, now that's a problem. Oh, that's good. Speak, and I shall listen. You know what? That should help. Actually, that's not helping. Okay, we got her. Tell me what must be done. The scourge has been purged. I can tell that the deed is done, for even now the land sighs with relief. This has been a great service to nature, and she shall not forget. Now come now will come rebuilding. Faldorn's invulnerability came with great cost, and the land bonded with her will suffer immeasurably. Verthan will serve as challenge master until the healing is done. His reverence for the land will not allow him to be corrupted if temporarily granted control. When the scars are healed, he can step aside. A new great druid will need to be chosen at some time. More turmoil ahead, but for now we can rest. What of you, Frederick Lionheart? You are likely off to travel? Would you mind my company? My duty here is done, and I do love to see the land. Shall we join? A fine pairing, I think. Come, there is much to see. A new season comes and growth is renewed. I am grateful for your indulgence. I stand as challenge master and all that seeks ascension in the druidic order can come to me. And for you, I must formalize our thanks. Go now, and worry no more about these woods and the druids who protect them. Remember to pick up any equi equipment that was dropped before the challenge. All right. Faldorn has been defeated through the traditional druid druidic hierarchy. The land will recover in time, as will the citizens of Trademeet. Cerned is now freed of his duty, and I welcome his continued presence in my party. Nature is at the ready. Can I change weapons while shape change? Okay. I am Remove that, serve. please. What is my pack? Okay. Didn't you have the third staff? Oh, there it is. Anything we can learn from you? It would be good for you to watch your actions while in this wood. I am the challenge master, and I ask of druids present if there are any that wish to make challenge. Our order is in disarray and in need of leadership. Do any here make claim to the challenge? Who is ready? Who shall be the figurehead for our grove and assume the title of great druid? There is none who need to challenge at this time. I wonder if that's something we can do at some later point. Or if this is like the druid version of uh, what we were dealing with. Regardless of the uh, stronghold kind of thing. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here because it has gone on, quite frankly, long enough. Next episode, we'll turn in the quests that we have and everything will be better. Till then, I'm Chester44, that is Frederick Lionheart, Minsk, Jehera, Cerned, Yoshimo, and Eri. This has been a Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Amun. And I shall see you all next time.